Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tom. We are making glutinous rice bowl. This is the luo mi fen. This is a good one I like to use, particular the brain. And here I got some uh, sweet red bean paste, which we're gonna uh, make it into a little ball and freeze it first because we fill in with this uh, rice ball. On the side we got some fresh ginger and some sugar cane or brown sugar. We're gonna make the uh, sweet soup to go with it. This is the festival traditional Chinese, almost like a dessert. I got a pot of water and some sugar cane. And this is the ginger with the skin on. I just uh, wash it really good. I use the brush, very clean. So just get them thinly sliced like this. Put the whole thing into this pot. And we're gonna bring uh, to a simmer and just let them slowly cook to extract out all the beautiful ginger juice. At the meantime, I got this sticky red bean paste. I just use my finger and to just roughly roll into a little ball and put it on a tray that you can use parchment paper or plaques the paper and then we're gonna freeze this thing in the freezer. I wet my hand with a little bit of cooking oil or water. It's easier for you to roll the red bean bowl. Some people like to uh, make the filling with like uh, black sesame seed with some sugar blended together or you can uh, blend it with the motor pesto or even like uh, something sweet like peanuts peanut butter will be fine too or pumpkin but before you uh, fill into the rice ball you need to uh, make the filling form into a little ball like this and keep it in the freezer will make your life easier I'm gonna save some of the red bean for Mua Ji. Now if you like, you can use your hand, reshape it. Just wet your hand a little bit once in a while. It's easier to work when your hand is a little wet. And you know the rice ball? Some family like to uh, make it into a different color because the kids like colorful things. So all you do is just, uh, I will kind of like guide you through later you can just add some food coloring. So now we're gonna put this into the freezer. Here I got one and a half cup, approximately, the glutinous uh, flour. And then if you have rice flour, or you can just do cornstarch, maybe two teaspoons, something like that. And here, I got one cup of light warm water. Maybe about like 50, 60 degree, maybe. But uh, really doesn't matter. Don't have to be exact. Like just a pinch of salt. And then, we're gonna add the water a little bit at a time. We're gonna make a dough. It's easier to add a little bit at a time than to take away. I find out it's easier to work with the chopstick first. Just like you're making a pasta dough. Look, now it's kind of like sticky and now is the time for us to use our hand. And I still have some water left. Not quite one cup. And we use our hand to knead. Suck up all the... Use your body weight. 
you press down the dough and it's been about three to four minutes kneading and then you look at it is it a little bit too wet or too dry this one just a little bit too wet so we're just gonna add some more glutinous flour in just need about five minutes and now you see the dough it's like a release from your hand and just lightly sticky this is really good here we can probably make 25 to 35 rice balls depend so we put it back in and we're gonna let them rest for maybe uh, 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna get another for you we don't want to uh, have air go in okay room temperature will be okay this ginger broth only take about half hour to 45 minutes uh, simmer like this and you can give them a taste depend how sweet that you like oh wow it's like a medicine oh beautiful tastes so good lightly sweet and I can taste the fresh ginger juice it's really good for winter time Michigan is uh, beautiful today just spring 50 degree outside sunny boy can't wait to go out and do some work the red bean bowl has been chilled for 35 minutes I think that's good enough pretty firm and here the glutinous bowl I'm gonna give them a, a quick just gently quick knee because it's kind of like a set for like 15 20 minutes and sometimes you will see the tear like this but it's okay what you're gonna do is wet your hand a little bit see and then it will foam together all right so now we're just gonna use the hand give them a quick pat like this put it right here and I'm just going to use this foyer that I had earlier so what I do is I just going to take some of this rice ball roll it right here on my palm about I would say an inch and a quarter something like this or inch and a half because our bean is about half inch round and then what you do you're just gonna use your thumb just flat it out like this just big enough you think to fill in the bean and then what I do is I usually just form a whale right here and then just slowly cover up like this you see that slowly cover up like that and then you just give them a quick roll make it nice and round and then we're just gonna put it right here and we'll make another one go like this if your hand too dry you can wet a little bit I remember my grandma she wet her hand with the lard you know the pork fat so your tang yuan tastes super good <laughs> well just like everything else you need to uh, play around a few times you know like this I put a you see from a well here and then you just turn 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 like this slowly eventually it will seal up by you know like that right and just roll it this is what we call tang yuan inside you can uh, fill with some uh, ground pork and uh, whatever ingredient you think will be work for this recipe right and some people like to boil this tang yuan in a different pot but I think I'm just gonna boil in here because actually the glutinous flour sometimes give you a really nice unique flavor 
What I show you here at home is simple. Come on, right? Simple. That's what we want. Easy to make. Not too messy. Here we go. See? Like that. Seal up. Once you see the seal, you can just roll it. Like that. Okay? If you realize the rice bowl is getting drier and like a lot of tear, you just wet your hand a little bit, you know? Okay? Now the water is boiling, we can add the rice bowl in. Space them out a little bit. Same time, I got some cold water here just to in case. Why? Because when we boil this rice bowl, we want to make sure the water not boil vigorously, not too aggressive. If that happens, it will tear out the skin, the rice bowl. So I just added in maybe like 30 seconds ago and I'm going to let them just kind of simmer for uh, maybe half minutes or one minute before I give them a stir. Something like this will take about a good 8 minutes to 12 minutes, depend how big. See now they not stick together. This is about the right amount of temperature that you want. Just like lightly boiling, you know, not aggressive. But if they happen, then you gotta add some cold water, just like this. Show you. See, it will drop down the heat. For some reason, I like this taste better with just cooking in the broth, you know, love it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Every family have their own recipe. It's been cooked about seven minutes and you want to see the rice ball like become translucent. That's what you want, but uh, it's almost there. I will give them like a couple more minutes. So far, nothing break. If one or two break, no big deal. I mean, the red bean got a really nice flavor too, you know. And the red bean is already cooked before. It's just the rice flour. We want to make sure it's cooked through. So it's hard to say what, how long would it take. Different country, different climate, different weathers, you know. The humidity is different, so it's hard to say. Like here, I get one and a half cup of glutinous flour. And I only use three quarter cup water here. But back home, I might use almost one cup of water, so it depends. But uh, you gotta make a few time to know. Have to be gentle. When you stir, press your spatula all the way down to the bottom of your pan and then stir like this. Not easy to break. Like this, huh? Or like this. Gentle. Almost there. I cook about 14 minutes because it's hard for me to control my induction oven, you know. Anyway, uh, I think it's done because uh, when I gently touch it, it's pretty uh, tender and soft. Let me turn it off. Simply just take one and then we're going to use a spoon or something to give them a quick cut like this. 
Oh yeah, it's done. You see? See the rice uh, bowl is translucent? Means done. If not, you can just uh, let them cook for a couple more minutes. I believe cooking can unify culture. I hope you like my video. I'm Chef Tom. Please subscribe and comment. I will see you next time. 再见! Oh, one quick note. When you eat this, it's super, super hot. Don't burn your lips. Bye!